Hello there and welcome to another Partners in Crime tutorial. In this tutorial we're going to learn how to animate a flare in Blender. So let's get started. So the first thing you're going to want to do is set up your scene by typing numpad 7 on your keyboard and then type control alt and then 0 numpad 0 to bring your camera into the view. So now you want to type x on your keyboard and select delete to delete the default cube. And now we're going to import our flare. So we're going to split the screen here. If you go into user preferences, wait for it to load a bit. I'm going to click that box there and type images. It'll make sure you have import, export, import images as planes enabled. So you want to make sure you have that checked and then we'll click save user settings. And then now we'll just collapse this here. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a flare image that has some transparency and we're going to bring it in, into Blender and then we're going to animate the transparency. So let's switch to the Cycles Render Engine and File Import Images as Planes. Now we have to look for our flares folder. And uh, we got these flares from another YouTube user. We'll include a link to uh, the user or one of the flares in the description. And just click this so you can see all their flares in Blender. And uh, let's just pick one. And uh, let's try this one. I'll click on that. And check use alpha. And click emission. and import images as planes. And let's go into render view so you can see this. So uh, our flare doesn't have an alpha channel and one way we can get around this is if we split this here, go into the node editor, let's move the mouse window pan around, let's remove this from the strength value, and let's put the color in the fact value and then you can see we have a flare alone. So let's change the background to black and size up our flare. And left click to confirm that. And uh, if we scroll up and zoom in here, we use the middle mouse button to pan around. Left click on this mix shader, type shift D to duplicate it, and left click to move that there, and click add, shader, transparent, and hook it up here. Now what we're basically going to do is we're going to animate the value of this mix shader so that we can get it switching on and off and on and off. And to do that, we can use a noise modifier for the value. So if you hover your cursor over this and type I, we can now go into the graph editor and edit the keyframe for it. And let's split the screen here. Go back to the node editor. And I'll make sure you have the shader selected. And click default value. And click this plus here. And go to the modifiers and click add modifier noise. Now if you just change the strength up you should get that flickering. And you can change the scaling up too. Change how frequently that flicker happens. So let's put the scale to 2. So we get a constant kind of flicker. We can change the emission value up to 5, make a really bright flare. And uh, now we have a flickering flare. And it looks very nice. And we can go into the render settings and just put our render settings together for making this a video. 14,000. And choose a folder on your computer to save it to. Flare, flicker, 
and click accept and then you can click render render animation if you're ready to render your animation now the good thing about this flare is that since it has transparency you can put basically any object behind it including text so uh, for a quick exercise let's put some text behind it shift a add some text tab raise the text and type let's see we'll type feed the imagination type tab and let's go back into material view and let's go into the text object data tab and scroll down and just change the alignment to center and we'll include a link to this font in the description I'm just going to this here and open a font we have stored on our computer and we'll choose let's see choose brand new all right so we have our font loaded in so let's give our text the material and a gradient new material mission and you can see we have our mission tab there what we're going to do is we're going to make a gradient that fades from top to bottom to do that we're going to add in a texture coordinate Put the object value here into the color value and click add converter separate XYZ and put that there. And let's put the Y value in there. And uh, you can see we get a gradient from top to bottom. Now if we click add converter color ramp and add it ahead of the separate XYZ node, let's change it to B spleen and we can just kind of make a sort of metallic kind of gradient. So let's click plus and add some gray. Now let's click this again and click plus and add some some more gray. Put this up here. And let's make it a little bit brighter. Alright, so now let's go into render view to see how this looks. And uh, let's type GZ point let's see. It's actually right click to cancel that and gz minus point zero zero one and type enter so now we don't have the intersection issue on the um on the z-axis so we can type s and scale this down and left click and then you have your flare in front of your text it is just animated already so we we'll get a flicking flare with your text and uh Oh, that's looking pretty good. Now to conclude our quick exercise, let's just right click on this camera, rewind, I, location, fast forward, and GZ and move it closer in, and left click, I, location. So if we go into material view, we can rewind and just play this up, and we should get a sort of flickering with the text and the camera moving in kind of like a movie trailer so uh, we're pretty much finished creating this animation let's go back into the render settings and uh, once you're done you want to have the resolution up to 100% and right so yeah you want to have the resolution up to 100% and you can make this a 60 frames per second animation but we'll leave it at 24 frames per second for now and if you added any audio, you can change the codec to MP3 and then render your uh, small movie trailer snippet out to an animation. So, we hope you found this tutorial helpful. And if you did, you can check out a whole bunch more awesome Blender content on our site by clicking the info card up here to the right of the screen or checking out the links in the description. We've got tons of awesome Blender kits and uh, simple Blender titles for you all to check out and some written tutorials on our site as well. So, if you like this video and found it helpful, please leave a like below, and if you have any suggestions for more tutorials, feel free to leave a comment. So, thanks for watching, and subscribe for more awesome Blender content from Partners and Coordinated Rendering of Ideas, Motion, and Effects.